What's going on YouTube? Back with another video and today I want to talk about Ride Wrap. Ride Wrap is your bike frame protection film that you want to put on your bike, especially if you have a bike that's expensive or I'm going to say, well, everyone's definition of expensive is to each their own. So um, if you want some type of bike protection on your bike, uh, I do recommend this product. Um, I just got it in, so I'm going to install it on the stump jumper. Uh, I've actually saw this on someone else's video and um, the company is actually in Canada. They're based out of Canada. And the cool thing about this is that um, they have your basic frame coverage film, which is what I have here. They do have a uh, film that can um, actually go on your particular bike. They have a customized, tailored uh, fit film for individual bikes. but. In my particular bike, the size large, they sold out. So I went ahead and got the more basic film protection, which is pretty much all I need anyway. So basically, in the instructions, it pretty much shows you what the actual film is going to protect on your bike. So everything that's in blue is the actual film that's going to be protecting the frame. Everything that's orange will be uh, continuously exposed. But they do have other kit options where you can cover all of that if you want to of course it's more expensive but I got the basic frame coverage for what I think I'm going to need and I also bought um, the tailored fit uh, kit for the Fox Rhythm 34 frame so that particular film will protect the fork as well they also got um, what they call the shuttle armor and this particular thing is pretty cool it's just a 3M sticker but it's a piece of rubber that you can stick on the uh, actually I can show you right here I'm going to put it on the film not on the actual frame itself but you put right here and then this protects once I put it on the back of the truck on the race face pad that I reviewed before this kind of provides protection right there also can provide protection for rocks and chipping and things of that nature so this piece I think was an extra like 15 or 20 dollars um, I think overall I spent uh, I think a hundred for everything or maybe 90 pretty much for all the materials and so not that bad for the protection that you get this is the actual film itself I gotta make a solution to actually make it pretty sticky and I just peel it off pre-cut so it's just pretty much a spray and peel type situation and you get a micro cloth for cleaning you get um, some cleaning pads to wipe down the bike and you also get a what else was it Oh, the squeegee. Yeah, you get the squeegee. The squeegee just actually, actually helps you um, get out any air bubbles and just tighten the film as close to the frame as possible. You have your microfiber cloth. You have some extra stickers on there that they throw in, the cleaning wipes. Um, and then they also give you the solution that you have to make to make it actually stick to the bike. So from my understanding, this thing is supposed to be really, really good. It also is supposed to self Heal, meaning that if the actual film gets scratched up that over time that it'll actually repair itself and kind of um, kind of get back to its uh, normal protection um, and so and it is removable it won't mess up your paint it won't mess up your bike uh, so if you decide to take the film off or you sell the bike or whatever the case may be you can take it off uh, pretty easily with a heat gun from my understanding and so um, so yeah that's pretty much it so I'm just going to Go ahead and start the install process, and then uh, I'll be back with you in a few. If you need one of these particular bottles, they sell these empty bottles at Walmart. They're 32 ounces. It's only like a dollar just to get you a clear see-through empty bottle container. And you're supposed to mix, it says four drops of this solution. One, well, it's two. Uh, three. Yeah, four drops of concentrate per one liter of water. So they give you a lot more than four drops. So, but that's what I put in here. Just doesn't seem like that'll be enough. Let me get maybe just two more drops. It might be enough, but I just, I don't know. It just seems like for as much stuff as in this packet, why would they only recommend four small drops? Okay. 
Alright, so that's that. I'm gonna fill it back up with water. Well first I'm gonna put it in and shake it up a little bit to dilute it with the water that's already in there and then I'll fill it up. These the packaging that these things come in is very, very tight, so I'm just gonna let you guys know now you're gonna need scissors to open even the uh, alcohol cleaning wipes. And these don't seem like they're anything special as far as the cleaning wipes go. Um, good thing is, is I washed my bike last time I went on the trail, so I don't really need too much cleaning, but I'm still going to just wipe it down with the alcohol cloth.
took uh, a lot longer than I thought. Probably about a good hour and a half. I've been working on putting that film on, and um, to me personally, I think it looks good. There are a few air bubbles in there. I mean, if I really just took another probably 30 minutes, I could get them all out, but I'm at a point now where it's so hot and humid, and it's raining and muggy, I just like forget it. It doesn't look that bad to me personally. Uh, but yeah, you can barely even, from a distance, you can't even tell it's on. You really have to look up close to see the actual outline of the film, but I can tell how it's definitely going to protect from scratches, drops, crashes, rocks, scrapes, all of that good stuff. So, um, yeah, I think it's I think it's worth an, I think it's worth the investment on spending a hundred bucks to protect the bike. Uh, if I had to do it over again, I probably wouldn't buy the fork protection. I really don't think it's it's needed as much as the actual frame, but it's still cool to have. So I would probably just go with the, and even the uh, the custom tailored fit to your actual specific bike. Like if you go to the tailored fit, I believe it's called, or custom customized fit or something, you can actually choose the bike that you have, like a 2019 Stump Jumper, and they have the film that fits your bike exactly, and it covers like probably like 95% of the frame, which I think would be tedious trying to put that much film on. I don't even think a lot of that, a lot of those parts aren't even needed to be covered. I think the basic um, the basic coverage that you get in the kit that I bought, and I'll put all of this in the description, the links to all of this stuff, I think it's way more than enough coverage than what you'll need. Um, but I would just go with that and maybe the actual shuttle protector thing to put on the, um, underneath, the uh, underneath the frame. And other than that, that's all I would actually go with. I think you'll be good with with that so if you want to protect your frame you want to protect your bike it's worth the investment um, and if you want to keep the factory paint looking good yeah I definitely would check it out so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video I'll check you out on the next one have a good week peace